shit. What's up, guys? That shit, bro. None of that sad shit going on here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Welcome back, guys, to another motherfucking video. I can't believe y'all are still here. I can't believe y'all are still here. Thank you for so much support on the channel. Thank you for so much support on the channel. Thank you for showing. Thank you for showing support on the channel. Thank you for showing support. Thank you for showing. What? Anyways guys, fuck that shit, I can't speak English because I'm black, you know. Thank you to Mateo for freaking, you know, putting out so many videos. This nigga has been grinding very hard to keep the channel alive. Uh, I appreciate everyone that has reposted our stuff and all that. Showing support, uh, I still can't say that word. But yeah, we greatly appreciate it. Um, anyways, back to the video. So as you can tell by the title, yes, I did crash a car. And yes, it is total. So uh, I am going to show you guys pictures of the vehicle. And as you can see, guys, I just finished playing some COD. You know, and then got the Honda up in there. You know, saying RX7, that shit clean as fuck. But yeah, if you guys haven't followed my Twitch, link is in the description, bro. Go show some love on there, too. Yeah, so I do... I am going to show you guys what the car looks like because I know most of you guys don't know what the car looks like because uh, I just haven't really put it out there because it actually was like embarrassing. Um, but I've gone over it and I could literally care less what anyone else thinks. So, uh, yeah. Uh, before I show you guys the picture, most of you probably want to know how the hell it happened. And... I'm gonna tell you that right now. So, as you saw, actually, and Mateo posted a video, and I think it was his air intake video, or like a different video. Uh, whatever video it is, it will, the eyeball will come up, and that's the video that that was the day I brought the car to school with the new wheels on. And when I put the new wheels on, and we went to school, all the guys were there. Uh, Aaron and his BRZ. Chad in his freaking Honda Civic Type R replica, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, you know, it was a good day, it was beautiful, fucking, all the boys were there, so we're all like chilling, it was a great day, got the new wheels on, you know, it was feeling nice, just watched the car, y'all seen the video, uh, if you haven't, check it out right there, um, but yeah, so in that video, you can actually see us leaving uh, the parking lot, and Mateo takes the left, and I go to the right because I was actually going to grab some pizza, you know what I'm saying? So I take that right, and thing is, I haven't, I haven't driven in these tires in so long, so I forgot how they, like, felt. So when I went to take the turn, I gas it a bit because I had to obviously get in front of the traffic, but as that... Started fishtailing, you know, all over the fucking road, and I was saving it, but then I just lost it completely, hit the curb, bounced back, and hit a car. Now, that is fucking tough, and, you know, shit happens, I've gone over it, you know, paid my dues, you know what I'm saying? Um, but the car has been sitting. Like, the reason y'all haven't seen the car in a while, and, like, when Mateo comes to my house, you don't see it on the driveway, is because on that date, which I'm pretty, pretty sure it was... 
So on that day, which was March 30th, uh, we that's when it happened. And since then, it's been in a uh, collision center because my dad's got a buddy that was going to like hook us up and shit like that. And I was going to pay to get it fixed, but sorry to let y'all know, it's not coming back. The car is gone. As of right now, I already sold it, made a, made a good amount of cash for it and the state that it was. And yeah, since then, it was in that shop for two months. I was going to fix it, but problems just kept going on with the car. I'm actually going to show you guys pictures of the car. Here is the first picture that y'all can see right here is it's hella messed up. Like this is right after the car accident. It is messed up completely. You can see the front bumper is like all cracked. The freaking headlights damaged. The fender is damaged. The thing was I thought this was going to be the worst part. But this wasn't. <laughs> you know that was the least of my freaking worries. Uh, I am going to show you guys, I think I did film, film, look, going to the shop and looking at this car. So since you, go, since you guys got a sneak peek right there, I'm actually going to play the video now, which is going to take us back to past shame. So let's get straight to it. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel here. All right. Um, so today I'm gonna go check out the G in the shop and like go over like what we're really gonna do if we're gonna get rid of it or if we're gonna pay for it to get fixed but it all depends on how much money it's gonna be so I don't really know if my focus I mean if the camera is focused right now but we just hope it is um, I'm not gonna take this camera I'll film some clips on my phone because I'm not gonna walk in there with a giant ass camera and shit but um, yeah I'm gonna go with it now and then I'll uh, let you guys know what's happening. Hopefully we get it all sorted out. Hopefully it's not too much money. Cause you know, the boys is going down, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, see you guys later. So guys, we're back here with the vehicle. Haven't seen in a hot minute. So as you can see, the tire was pushed back there. With the curb rash all up on there. So as y'all saw, that was April 29th. Uh, the first clip was April 29th where I was showing you the the whip and stuff and how damaged it is. You can see how that freaking, that wheel is just bent far back. I think that is, I don't know if this is the correct part, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's the drive shaft I think was pushed back six inches. So it was like bent and we were easily going to replace that, but just, there was rust all over the car and like paint and like body like shit is just expensive on the swift it's like there's i don't i'm a high school student i got i can't afford that shit you know what i'm saying like infinities they're, they're hella expensive my guy and like i just no nah, that's not in my budget and you know why would i do that when i could just get a better car and bought it so i did have stuff on the way for the g35 which was gonna be some sick I had core lovers intakes fucking body kits and all that shit that were gonna come on the way but that is not happening anymore so <laughs> uh yeah uh I am gonna show you a couple more pictures that I took when I was selling the car so I think I also filmed it here but I am just gonna yeah I'll just show you I'll show you a couple pictures right here, this one, and this one. So as you can see, it's hella fucking dusty from, it's sitting there for like two months, and bro, that was the toughest two months of my life, because I was just waiting for when that car was going to come back, and I was just waiting for that guy to fix it and tell me that it's all good, that I can go pick it up, but you know, he was just taking too long, and you know. It wasn't gonna get fixed, let's just be honest here. You know, you can see that it's all like fucking fucked up and like shit's just messed up. Here's the car uh, leaving the scene, I guess you can say, after I sold it. 
uh, the guy bought it, which shout out to him too. He owns a shop up in who the fuck knows. I don't know my streets at all, but he lives, in, you know, whatever. He owns, I think it's PS Auto Records or some shit like that. And shout out to him. He was pretty chill. Uh, guy trying to fuck me though. I mean, whoa, that is not what I meant. Guy trying to. Just don't worry about that. I did not say that. I meant the guy trying to fuck me over. That's what I meant. It still kind of sounds kind of sus, but you know, you know how it goes. I don't know if I showed the video of the whip, but here's the walk around. Before I was selling it, this is the first time me seeing it in forever. It was all dusty. It looked kind of cool too, by the way. Like it was all dusty. I haven't seen it. I don't know why I'm sticking that metal shit in there. But yeah, I was like, oh look at that. You see that? Z28 Camaro right there, it's pretty sick. But yeah, you know, I was just going there to collect all my shit, get it out of the car so I can sell it. And yeah, you know, rip to the G, we all good. You know, <laughs> we're gonna move past it, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But, is this, is this it? Is this it for the channel? I don't have a car no more, so I can't I can't upload any videos for this channel. We're in lockdown, so nothing's gonna come out for me. Don't got a whip to show you guys builds or anything. Mateo was tagging Mateo was basically carrying the channel and we got Billy stuff, but you know this this just might have to be it, you know. Everything's not going as planned. We might just have to end the channel, guys. It is going to be tough. I know some of you actually enjoy the content. Some of you just watch it just to support and don't really give a shit about cars. But I thank everyone for the support that y'all have given us. And, yeah, is this the end of Overdrive? I don't know. We'll see. Psych the fuck. Did y'all actually think that was the end, bro? Did y'all really think that was the end? You don't think I'm gonna come out with bangers, bro? Listen, Mateo is carrying the channel hardcore. I don't have a whip. You haven't seen videos from me in forever. But don't worry about that. Maybe I got a little surprise coming soon. We'll just have to see. But as Mateo is carrying the channel, we got videos still posting up. We're still rolling, guys. Ain't gonna slow down. We're gonna make up content any way we have to. I might have to rob a bank. I mean, no, don't. Uh, we got Billy Subs going in the car and him putting on that spoiler so that could be a sick build. We got the, I think it's an S10 in his garage that he's fixing up. So I also filmed that. And we also has his brother's car. I don't know if we'll make videos on that, but we got that Genesis, which is pretty sick. But hopefully seeing y'all, y'all would see a video from me shortly. You know, I do have a special package that has been taunting me for a while but obviously I actually I'm not gonna even spoil it but there is a package that has been waiting for me for a while now I think that is it I think I have covered everything if y'all enjoyed the video it was a short video but if y'all enjoyed it thank you once again for showing support uh, I think that's it make sure to like comment Share the video. Make sure you subscribe to Overdrive too. I know some of your bums are not subscribed. You know what? 71% of you are not subscribed. Are you serious? 71%? That's tough, my guy. Why is that? Why are y'all not subscribing to the channel, bro? Come on. Come on. Y'all letting us down. But anyways, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like, comment, and share the video with friends and family. You know, it helps us a lot. Thank y'all for watching the video once again. This has been Overdrive, and we'll see what happens next. Yo! Yeah! Hey, I'm gonna shit off, nigga. <laughs>